What's up YouTube? Turd Ferguson 83 here. Got another new knife because if you're watching this, you know knives are awesome. This is a Schrade Automatic. It is the SC60 BRT. It is a Taiwan made knife. Only paid $39.95 for this knife through Blade HQ. Big shout out to them. Ordered it on a Tuesday. Actually, it was Wednesday. It was like 1 in the morning. I sat and looked at knives and looked at knives forever before I ordered this one. And I like it. For the price, the blade wiggles a little bit. It's got a decent edge on it. But really, this knife is for just walking around on the town. It's quick. It's pointy if I ever have to use it. Because, you know, if you're not at work, you're not in your shop, you're not working, you're not doing anything... The real role of a knife is to defend yourself. There's probably better choices to defend yourself, but I like this because it comes out of the pocket in one hand. Got a deployment button right here. This is also the lock to release the blade. It is very light. I don't know what the exact weight is, but it is much lighter than, say, like my Sp Spider Co. Resilience. And the pocket clip is decent. This gets pretty grabby in the pocket, but I'll tell you what really gets grabby is this lock right here. As this comes out of my pocket, it locks the blade. Won't open. It's got kind of a square profile. It's got this texturing on it. When I pull it, sitting in my right pocket like this, when I pull it out, it pushes that safety forward. Then I'm like, oh, okay, well, there's no blade deployment and I've got to flip it over get the lock and then bam but that's not what I want I want this to defend myself in the rare instance that I might have to so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this apart take that lock out this is literally just sandwiched in there if I take this apart it'll just slide out this direction and one quick note, if you've got one of these, and also I believe there's a Boker knife that is the, actually this knife, or this knife is the Boker, however you want to look at it. But this Torx screw here on the pivot, that is a Torx number 8. And these others are Torx number 7s. They can be hard to find, but if you get a little kit, you'll get them. So, when we come back, this thing will be taken apart. And we're back, all finished. We are now sand safety. All in all, it's pretty easy to do. Like I said, a Torx number seven, a Torx number eight. I didn't even bother to go out to the garage to get my screwdriver to hold this bit. I just grabbed it with my Gerber suspension multi-tool. And as always, I highly recommend having a magnet tray whenever you're doing really anything. Uh, one word of caution, when these two halves separate, when you take the screws out, the blade, the spring that gives it tension, will stay in place. Leave them there. It only took me a few extra minutes to get those in place, but it was a pain in the ass and it was annoying because I was dumb enough to pull the blade out of place. The spring went flying across the room. I found it, but just leave it in place. I did take care of of a little bit of the sloppiness by tightening this pivot a little bit more than what it was when I received it. It still got slop there, but honestly for 40 bucks for an automatic knife, still not too bad. Like I said, I'm not doing anything heavy duty with this. It's just more of out, of, out on the town, I'm not at work, I'm not at my garage working and using it. Like I said, it's pointy, it's fast. It will do work in the off chance that you have to defend yourself. So overall, I like it. The Schrade SC60 BRT, I like it. Alright YouTube, that's all for now.